Welcome, Mr. Kasanov. Uh, you are the ex-Prime Minister of Russia uh, and uh, leader of uh, political party Parnas. How Boris Nemtsov murder uh, have influenced Russian political life? Almost a year passed since that time when Boris was murdered just near the Kremlin's wall, mm -hmm. the most secure, one of the most secure places in, in Moscow. And in fact, that was that had, I would say, quite a negative effect on the mentality of people, on uh, their psychological situation there, because nobody could even imagine that something like that could happen, that in the center of Moscow, one of the leaders of Russian opposition murdered. And even for quite a while, investigation com investigative committee couldn't even find a way, but now just they, they arrested implementers, but saying, that organizer was a driver of one of the officers, etc. Just a little bit joking stuff. That's why, that's why we believe, we believe just we need international support for investigation. Talking about the whole situation in Russia, of course uh, that is getting uh, worse and worse. And I wouldn't say that's gloomy, but that's already, already to a great extent, Russia lost all the remaining features of a democratic state. We don't have independent media, we don't have independent judiciary, we don't trust police, we don't trust authorities in general. People are afraid of policemen. Instead of looking that they have provided their security on the streets, they, when they see policemen, they trying to cross the streets so that not to meet together because just this is source of danger. That's why, that's why I think this year, 2016, could be a crucial from the point of view of, of changes in Russia. We could follow two directions, two scenarios. One of them continue worsening and uh, uh, Mr. Putin could impose even further, even more mobilization spirit and continue to have the pressure like what we have from different officials appointed by him, like Mr. Kadyrov, just uh, s making statements, uh, making people fear about their, their, their existence, about uh, their life. Or we all together stay together and press on the authorities to implement the international obligations. International obligations raising out of Russia's membership in the Council of Europe uh, and as a membership also on the OECE. That's why I think just Russian internal problems, they are not purely Russian, they are international because Russia binds by international agreements. And we're calling for our partners, please control how your partner friend, Russia, in the past, just violating international law and violating international obligations. That's why that's why that's important to, to realize that. And I think today I see that European Union finally taken a principled position, which was absolutely unexpected for Mr. Putin. And he is getting nervous about that. He thought that everything could be purchased in this world. But this time, I'm talking about aggression against Ukraine in particular. And this time, uh, European Union taken a principled position, which is, was absolutely shock for Putin. Mm -hmm. And I think just continue to, 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 to stand this way, we can uh, get appropriate result to put the aggressor on the right place. What is the public perception in Russia on European Union right now? Uh, unfortunately, uh, the Russian propaganda uh, managed to achieve certain negative feature in a wider audience in Russia uh, than before. Before, always like 70% believed that European Union is a friend. But now I think just such countries, uh, leading countries of European Union like Germany, Great Britain or France, uh, just treated by the Russian propaganda as enemies. Of course, the United States of America, that the major enemy, and the whole NATO, about other countries, just, just I wouldn't say junior, but second level enemies. And uh, Russian propaganda believes or tried to impose such a feeling to, to people that those Europeans just simply, they're simply naive and lost. They're under influence of, of Americans 
of those ugly Americans just pressing Europeans, and they, like, uh, like, like kids, cannot understand what is right, what is wrong. That is how propaganda just in a very simple, but on the other hand, very effective manner. That's why we today living in, my, in a completely different country, which is absolutely unacceptable. And uh, as I said, we hope that the main institution of, Europe, of uh, democratic state, free elections, which doesn't exist in Russia, but if we all together, members of OECE, members of Council of Europe, stand strongly and demand from Putin to implement international, international obligations. In this case, we could start having just a gradual, gradual relaxation of the situation and gradual change. Talking about Council of Europe, Mr. Zinger, is um, how uh, Council of Europe Parliamentary Assembly helps Russia uh, to come back or to develop democracy in, in Russia? Yeah, it's, uh, we just uh, celebrated 12 years when the last Russian Democrat leaves and was uh, pressed to leave uh, Russia delegation. It was uh, Sergei um, Kovalev who was a member of Russian delegation. Now we have only a team who present Kremlin and Kremlin ideas. That was the reason that after uh, uh, Russian invasion to Ukraine, we started to consider that Russians should implement Minsk agreement to be serious. And just talking about Boris Nemtsov, who was a guest uh, he here in Strasbourg for all possible occasions and uh, took part in the debate here for years and years and was great leader of Russian democracy. Uh, it's year just passed and we look to the year last year like a uh, year of test, uh, year of examination. Examination for Russian government, uh, how feel the other f colleagues of Mr. Nemtsov now in Moscow, how they can continue their uh, freedom fighting, how they is with freedom of the speech in Russia, how is with their rights to, took part, to take part in the future elections where they can be visible inside of Russia, when the voice of such prominent people like Mr. Kasyanov, like Vladimir Karamurza, like uh, uh, Navalny, will be posted inside of Russian society, on which TV channels they are presented during the next upcoming elections. So, my idea will be that we should mm, turn uh, away only from the question of only sanctions related to the Minsk agreement against Russia with a question sanctions towards Russia up to their shape of the democracy inside of Russia. It's not only Minsk agreement should be implemented, that is a pure uh, Russia aggression against neighboring state, but the condition of Russian democracy. Well, Russia de Russian democracy is a, a, is a grant and Russian democracy is insurance for the peaceful behaviors of Russia. So uh, Russian democratic parties who uh, were uh, presenting themselves during the last uh, 12 years in Boris Yeltsin time from the 90s until 2000. Uh, so they were presenting peaceful uh, R Russia coexistence with other states and European legacy of uh, Russia inside of uh, Europe. So uh, this case when some governor in Russia like Mr. Kadyrov trying to blackmail uh, all Moscow intelligentsia and uh, all Russian Democrats. And it's no answer for days and days from Moscow government to this j uh, guy who possessed behind him uh, tens and tens of thousands of people who are carrying guns and using guns against Russian Democrats should be stopped. So we are now on the brink after one year of Boris Nemtsov, that's with the question uh, to the uh, uh, Russia or Russian government is going to proceed with other killings. That means Russian government will be uh, th th keeping silence when uh, other Democrats will be in the future possibly killed. That is a very crucial moment. And investigation of Boris Nemtsov's death, like it was the case of in this investigation of Litvinenko, uh, case, Magnitsky case, is very crucial and um, all Democrats here in Council of Europe in Strasbourg uh, will be extremely serious shaping the new report about Boris Nemtsov's death and this report will be prepared 
I hope in future in very serious shape and, uh, uh, and they will be monitoring Russia, uh, uh, Russia government capacity to take care about all their citizens and their rights to express their opinion. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.